Father Matthew Pierce is an Anglican cleric who is popular in his old neighborhood. At some point, after the Everyday Fellowship, his better half Eunice Pierce presents an extremely youthful couple who join their congregation to him. They are talented athlete Randy Reynolds and his enthusiastic recently married spouse Daphne Reynolds who used to be a typist and a phone administrator before marriage. Father Pierce consequently acquaints them with their cricket chief Stephen who is learning in the police foundation to turn into a cop and gets to know them. One night, Father Pierce proposes to Eunice that they ought to recruit Daphne as his secretary. They enlist her the following day and she begins work by composing the book Father Pierce was composing. They likewise give her convenience in their own home. In the meantime, Randy joins the cricket crew and frequently examines how great dad Pierce is to them with Stephen, saying how he assisted them with accomplishing some monetary dependability during troublesome times. At some point, after the finish of work, Daphne herself says thanks to Father Pierce and provocatively tells him in the event that he really wants anything, not to hold back but to inquire. Father Pierce is famous as an exorcist in the town of frequently called by troubled guardians when their kids, exceptionally high school young ladies begin to show strange ways of behaving. One night subsequent to getting back late in the wake of examining one of the young ladies who were lethargic to their folks. Father Pierce takes a sneak top at exposed Daphne who is cleaning her hair after a shower. Terrified, Daphne covers herself with the towel while Father Pierce escapes. The next morning, Father Pierce delicately strokes Daphne's shoulder while she types and she responds by shutting their office room entryway. This triggers Father Pierce to close the draperies of the window, and they kiss and have a shared oral affair. Sister June who was showing a gathering of kids neighboring the workplace room sees that the entryway and window is shut and becomes profoundly dubious. Father Pierce demands Eunice to visit their kids in London. At a similar time, Randy is likewise frequently away for cricket rehearsals with Stephen. One blustery night subsequent to getting back late again in the wake of playing out an expulsion to another adolescent young lady, Father Pierce, and Daphne realizing that they are distant from everyone else release themselves and have an enthusiastic affair. Their day-to-day -day sexual relations rise to where Father Pierce concludes he ought to dispose of the people who are in the middle between them. Eunice hears gossipy tidbits about their issue and starts stressing with her kids in London. In the meantime, Randy falls genuinely sick and is determined to have extreme hypoglycemia. Father Pierce and Daphne routinely visit him in the medical clinic and he slowly advances purchase what is going on bafflingly breakdown and he bites the dust. Eunice gets back and she also strangely becomes sick and is owned up to the emergency clinic, just to be figured out that she is experiencing, three minutes, extreme hypoglycemia. Her circumstance betters and demolishes between her visits with her relatives and with Father Pierce. Yet, her condition further crumbles and she falls into a trance-like state. Meanwhile, while on the job, Dr. Terence, who controlled her dextrose understanding that she doesn't answer it looks for a second assessment from an individual partner, Dr. Mohan who recognizes that he also had a comparative case a couple of months prior. A diabetic and serious hypoglycemic patient likewise had a similar treatment and he in the end kicked the bucket. At a hunch, they understand that Father Pierce is connected with both the patients and illuminate their doubt to region clinical official Dr. Ship, who appoints analyst crews of the Criminal Examination Division to research the conditional proof. During the examinations, Eunice Pierce bites the dust, troubled, and following declarations from his better half and her companions that Father Pierce is infamous for attacking little kids and recently married ladies during fellowships. Stephen chooses to do his own examination and secretly gets critical logical proof which validates region clinical official and investigator Cruz's doubts. Father Pierce is secured and is accused of twofold homicide. During the preliminary, the offended party demonstrated without question that Father Pierce efficiently and purposefully managed euglockenbound chicken and meat liver to both Randy Reynolds and Eunice Pierce. The reason for the passing was not pancreatic malignant growth as shown by the litigant. Father Matthew Pierce is indicted and condemned to death.